Hello everyone, Grandma here. Happy Vlogmas. Today I'm going to show you a depression era recipe to make popcorn balls. This recipe goes even further back than the Great Depression. So Grandpa and I are going to be showing you together how to make the popcorn balls. This is a very simple recipe and here are the ingredients. One and a half cup sugar, one cup water, two tablespoons white vinegar, one teaspoon vanilla, two quarts freshly popped corn. We're using a candy thermometer. Now we're going to start the process of making our candy syrup. First we're going to take the sugar, pour it into our two quart pot. This is the pot that I measured the popcorn out since it measures two quarts and the recipe calls for two quarts of popcorn. Then we're going to add our water, we're going to add our vinegar, stir it around and put our heat on to high to bring it to a boil. And once it gets to the boiling point Put in our candy thermometer to see if it gets to 250 degrees. This is going to take a little, little while to do. As you can see, it's starting to get to the boiling point, boil. But we got to let it boil for a while. Give it a stir a little bit. Let's see how hot it's getting. Well, we're looking at the thermometer. It's not up to where we need it to be, 250. Okay, our thermometer reached 250. Now we're going to take it off the stove and pour it over our popcorn. Now I'm going to pour the hot syrup over my popcorn and stir it all in my big pot here. Now we had to grease our hands so we can take some of the popcorn make make a ball out of it. You can make any size like so. you want. Any size you want, big or small. Large or like a baseball. Baseball. Give it a little squeeze. We made eight popcorn balls and they came out fairly well. That we didn't make them too large, but that's uh that's all the that's all we made with this recipe. Eight um, popcorn balls. So now I want to show you how they years ago they would wrap them to give them as gifts or store them. So back then they use wax paper, so I have cut wax paper here, and I'm going to take a popcorn ball and put it in the wax paper and wrap it up like this. And this is one of the ways they could wrap it up to give it as a gift. You would just twist the sides. And then they would use 
whatever they had around. If they had uh, scrap little pieces of ribbon, they could tie it with ribbon. But I have the curly ribbon that I like to use. So you just cut a piece of curly ribbon, put it on the end, make a little bow. And then just curl up, curl up the ribbon from the ends. And that's how easy it is to have one side. And then you do the other side. Like this. And they did this because years ago they didn't have plastic bags or anything. Today when they make the popcorn balls, they mostly uh, stick it in a plastic bag and then tie it up. Maybe put a label on it. But back then they just had the wax paper. You make a little curly ribbon. It doesn't have to be that perfect. And now if you want to cut your ends a little bit, you can cut your ends. And now this is how they could make it to give it as a, as a gift. That would be one. And they take another one. And then you have your curly ribbons and you have red and green. So you could do a bunch of these. And if you want to give them individual or they could put them in a basket and they could give a basket full of these. And it's a nice inexpensive gift and, and they look festive. So that's how if you want to give them as a gift. Now, when they wanted to store the, the popcorn balls, they would wrap it in the wax paper like this. And then they, of course, use paper bags for everything. So then they would, they would just wrap them and put them in the paper bags and they would store them away. So I just thought I would show you how they did this years ago. Like I said, it was very inexpensive and a fun little project, especially for the kids to help to help out to make the little popcorn balls. And, and that's how easy it is. How's it taste, Grandpa? Let you know in a minute, Ma. Looks nice. Looks like about the size of a baseball. Tastes nice. Got a sweet flavor to it due to the sugar. The uh, popcorns taste good. They're crunchy when you're chewing on them. Nice and easy. Soft. We used plain popcorn. We didn't butter the popcorn, so it's just the popcorn. The, the sugar syrup that we use with the vanilla extract in, in the uh, syrup. That's a nice flavor. Surprisingly, I like this because I'm not one for having candy apples or caramel apples, but this tastes good. You get that little bit of hint of vanilla in it. It came out nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Pa.